All right, vlog number six. Six days in a row, oh my God. And uh, it is the hottest day we've had so far and I had to work today. I literally can't complain because right now with everything going on, I'm only working once a week, but I mean, I'm lucky to have a job while other people are out of work, so I am not going to complain, but God damn it, the nicest, hottest day, and uh, and I had to go to work. So that sucks. Um, on the plus side, these new Oakleys showed up, and uh, I don't usually wear a style like this because uh, my head is so small and narrow, but uh, they look okay. I mean, they don't look amazing. My face is really small and narrow. So these are actually a youth fit, I won't lie to you. Youth size sunglasses is what I have to wear from Oakley and pretty much every other, um, you know, eyewear retailer. But I'm pretty stoked. Um, they look good enough that I'm happy to wear them. And the polarized prism lenses are wild. Everything looks like insanely HD, HD. I don't actually say it like that, I say HD, but people pronounce their H's like that and you know what, so be it, whatever. Um, but I am just about to uh, grab a couple things like I always do for some reason. I feel like every time I'm doing a vlog, I'm in the parking lot of the grocery store, but uh, I'm rocking my other shirt that I had made. Uh, this is like one of the very first logos I designed and sent in to have a sample printed. It took so long to get, but this one turned out pretty good. Again, the print on the shirt is not the best, but the shirt is perfect. Um, so I'm definitely using these shirts. Let me know what you think of that logo design. Uh, obviously I'm going for like a, you know, wear in the gym style thing and in and out of the gym, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I like showing it off. It's cool to show off a design that you made and have people look at it kind of like, eh? Also, my hair is bananas today. Oh, well. Um, yeah, not a lot going on. I have gained a several subscribers through just doing the vlogs. Um, by several, I mean like three, but still that's substantial to me when I'm at such a small number. So I'm starting to think that the vlog thing is where people's interests lie. Um, yeah, it's interesting because it wasn't where I thought I would go with my channel, but when people kind of pitched the whole vlogging thing and uh, it actually started with the Instagram stories because people were like, I was getting a lot of response to me just being a silly fool, which is me being me. Um, and it's very genuine and I wasn't really, that wasn't really coming through when I was doing like the studio quality YouTube videos. So it, uh, when I would do those Instagram videos, I'd get a lot of reactions from people uh, clapping or laughing or whatever. And uh, I mean, one girl followed me and then messaged me and was like, hey, I just started following you, but you're hilarious. And I don't expect people to find me funny um, but you know what I mean? Whatever. I like that people do find me funny. That's great. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm not doing it to make people laugh, I guess. But if people do find me funny just by me being me, then bonus. Obviously, there's got to be something that has some appeal or else it's just a random dude talking to a camera and that's boring as shit. So I try and keep it, you know, a little bit ridiculous and uh, be me, you know, all good. Anyway, not a lot to talk about today. Uh, I can tell you about my next actual video because I've been slacking hard because it's been so nice. I've been getting outside and I've been doing the vlogs. That's been my focus, uh, but I didn't mean to push the other stuff to the side. Also, I was waiting on a new lighting setup for my studio slash dining room, but that arrived today so I can set that up and I'm gonna film my new video, which is gonna be on a fat burner series. And I've got a couple different fat burners from a couple different companies that I'm gonna stack up, compare, talk about, review, 
and explain to you guys and give you my input on all those. So that's what's happening. That's what you can expect to see. That will be like, I'm hoping to have that done by the end of the week. Uh, my goal is to have it done and posted on YouTube for Friday. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I'm trying to give it more variation with the reviews and not just keep it like, you know, a boring supplement review. So I thought this would be a good way to grab a bunch of different ones. Uh, and I've taken all of them. I've tried all of them every morning. I typically start my morning with a fat burner instead of a coffee now uh, due to the quarantine and the, you know, I'm less, a little bit less active than I have been. So um, I have lots of input to give on that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, other than that, guys, not a lot today. I had to work today, so that kind of took a big chunk out of having much valuable time to commit to this. But this is the update, vlog number six. If anything else pops into my head, you can guarantee I will film a little bit more later. So until then, peace. All right. When I was in the grocery store, it just made me realize that I should talk about the Rona. My Corona. The coronavirus. Like, oh shit, wrong way. Um, like, first of all, this has been a really weird ass time that we live in. And it's probably gonna continue to be really weird ass times. That uh, person's not paying attention. Um, but with that being said, we're starting to, I don't know about everyone else, but where I live in Nova Scotia, um, we are starting to wind down um, with all the intenseness. Is that even a word? Intenseness? Intensity! That, that's the right word, you idiot. Um, the intensity of like, you know, all the precautions that we're taking. So they just announced June 5th. Um, like barbers can open back up, gyms apparently can open back up. Uh, so your boy's gonna get back in shape because I'm looking kind of skinny. Um, but uh, yeah, I gotta reshape my body all over again. Shouldn't take long. The old muscle memory's a good, good thing. But I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, while I was in the grocery store, I was just thinking like, you know, we had to line up outside because there's still a limit on how many people can be inside. But like, I'm seeing less people wear masks. Uh, people aren't as apt to follow the friggin' arrows on the ground and stuff to keep it and, you know, keep proper distance and whatever else. Oh, cold brew coffee, baby, Starbucks. Um, but yeah, like, I've seen a lot of shit spread around on social media about like, the second wave of this. And I guess there's something on my screen. Ugh, ugh. Um, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think and how you feel about it all. And if I'm gonna do this and people are gonna watch it, it'd be cool to generate some conversation. So I wanna know how other people feel because like I haven't taken it like super serious. Um, I've never worn a mask. I've gone and done most things as I normally would, other than like, you know, I didn't go to work as much, I didn't go see my parents as much because they're older and I didn't wanna risk that in case I was like carrying it and didn't really know or, I don't know, but I didn't take it, you know, some people are getting really upset on social media and I get it, That's I'm not knocking them, it's totally fine. I fully understand it's an actual pandemic and whatever else. However, there's people who don't believe this is a real thing, which I think is absolutely hilarious. And all these fucking conspiracy theorists, but you guys need to get a life. That's all I can say. Um, if you don't think this is a real thing, then you just, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to you. Use your goddamn brain. How about that? Look around. Um, but yeah, like, it's just weird, and if there's a second wave, and like, after we go try and go back to living a normal life, how insane would that be once we're starting to get back on our feet, if 
if there was like this crazy outbreak that was somehow even worse. And then I'm like, shit, that's actually like super terrifying. And I don't even want to really think about it because mostly because I want my goddamn gym back, but that's just me being selfish. I can't even imagine like if you have family that live in like an old folks home or a caring home, it's ripping through those places and killing people like daily. So it's terrible. But I guess my question is like, how serious are you guys taking this? And do you think it's gonna make a comeback or are we in the clear? Is Are things ever gonna feel normal again? I don't know, I got so many questions and I guess the only positive thing that saved my brain and my uh, mental state was the fact that it's we're rolling into summertime and I can get outside and do things and with not much else to do since I'm not going to work on a regular basis and things just aren't normal, I think it's a great time to take advantage of getting outdoors. And people might argue with me because we're not ready for that yet and that's being inconsiderate and not being respectful of social distancing. But I'm not saying that like, if you stick to the people that you have been seeing during this, like I'm sure, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, family members, whatever, whoever you've like stuck to and continue to see throughout it. I'm not saying go have a party with your friends, don't branch off too much, but like just make use of this and get outside and like, especially for your own sanity, because I was in quite a rut at the beginning of this um, because mm, I had come home uh, from a deployment living on a boat for six months. Um, so I had already lost all sense of normal life. And then like I came back to work for, I think it was like a week maybe, maybe not even a week. It was like a couple days. And then this virus broke out and it's just mental. Like, I don't know, it's so crazy to think about and I haven't, basically, I, I left when life was somewhat normal, or normal, and since I've come back, it's been an absolute disaster, and all these terrible things have been happening, especially in Nova Scotia, where I live, and it's making me just wonder, like, what the hell is going on? Man, that person parked like an idiot. Hilarious. Anyway, that's my rant about the coronavirus. I'm really curious what you guys think how you feel about it i know for me like life is just has been derailed completely um and i'm so curious when and if things are ever going to feel normal again and yeah that's it i don't really know what else to say but man oh man weird times um i'm trying not to get too excited about things like starting to bounce back because i'm really worried that it's gonna do a nosedive again and we may run into that second wave or that's just fear mongering i don't really know anyway that's my rant thank you for listening to me today love you guys um if you enjoy this there's gonna be a button i think here somewhere to subscribe um if you're not already subscribed that means the world i promise to keep putting out content i'm never gonna stop no matter what um i don't get discouraged you know i just I just keep doing it because I love it. So thank you for watching and until next time, peace out.